vehicle. Wow, 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 what's going on? Well, the law's clear. They have to confiscate your license, and you're gonna have to walk home. Well, can't you at least give me a ride? No can do, amigo. <sighs> All right, I guess I'll just call an Uber. Are you Brian? <laughs> such an ass. And that's not all. You've got to constantly tell everybody what a good idea it is, and how important it is, and how wrong they are for having traditional desks. Can't I just work at it and mind my own business? No, you have to be a freak about it. Maybe it can just be my own personal choice, and, and I'm not judging others for their choices. No, you being right means everyone else is wrong. That's what your standing desk is saying to the chair people. From now on, you call them chair people. Oh, and three times a day you have to say, sitting is the biggest killer in America. Uh. Good night, Peter. Good night, gender transition co-worker we had a whole meeting about. Mr. Peter Smith, what you're ordering is illegal. I don't care about that. I want our beer cans made from the cheapest material possible. But, sir, what about those metal toilets where prisoners make wine? Use those. But, sir, if word got out about this, it'd be one of the most notorious developments in beer history. Second only to Michelob Ultra Dragon Fruit Peach. Peter, are you sure you heard Mr. Pewterschmidt correctly? He actually said he wanted cheap, toxic materials inserted into the brewery supply stream. Well, his eyes look different how he said it, but that was the gist. Also, some of the brewery workers say very hurtful things if a co-worker wears shorts. Follow the money. Mr. Griffin, it sounds like you brought me an interesting story. What should I do with it, Ollie? Make it news! Ah, hey, you got a standing desk, too? Sitting's bad! I know, they don't want to hear it, though. <laughs> when he's wearing a trench coat? That tells you he's a reporter. Sir, an anonymous whistleblower in the brewery says you personally ordered the sourcing of cut-rate, potentially toxic canning materials. God, you're gorgeous. Mr. Pewterschmidt, I remind you, this is on the record. Ever been with a man who's got a prostate the size of a beefsteak tomato? Oh crap, it's Carter. I bet he's mad I told the news about him. I'll just do what Superman does. Oh, hey Carter. Hello, citizen. Have you seen Peter? Ah, oh, he was just here. Tommy, what's this about? Did Peter screw something up at work? No, I'm here because I've got important news. Lois, everyone, I've left your mother, and Trisha Takanawa is moving in with me. Holy crap! What? I wanted you to know. I'm in love. Well, good for you for being honest, Carter. It's never good to keep something that matters to you a secret. Tell her about the surf camp in Belize, Peter. Tell her you're going. Tell her it's your dream, and you deserve it. Tell her it'll make you a better father. What's that, Peter? Ah, nothing. Just something stupid. You're leaving Babs for Trisha Takanawa, and I've never been happier. What about Mom? Where is Mom? The sanitarium. Yeah, I told her I was leaving her and she freaked out for no reason. 